Today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. Will groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. <laughs> Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're 
so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, oh, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Boy! Young Jake, what's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> Cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables. Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, 
They're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf windmill. Nanny Plum, I'd like some bread with my egg, please. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. We haven't any bread this morning. No bread? Then please magic some up. I can't magic up bread without flour. And we've run out of flour. Well, can't we order more flour from the elves? I have. But as usual, the elf truck is late. Nanny, the elf truck's here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Ollie. Food delivery. At last, Mr Elf. King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Well, today we've got mushrooms, tomatoes, baked beans and, of course, eggs. That should make a splendid King's breakfast. Yes, yes, thank you, Mr Elf. But the only thing I need today is flour. Flour? Yes, flour for making bread. The King wants bread. No problem. We'll pick up a bag of flour from the Elf windmill. Thank you, Mr Elf. Let's see. We should be able to deliver it next week. Next week? But I need flour today. Ah, you know what they say? You can't rush the elf windmill. Hmm. Maybe I should visit this elf windmill. Of course, Nanny Plum. We can take you if you like. The windmill sounds fun. Can I come too? Of course. Hop aboard, Princess Holly. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello, Holly. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Hi there. Can I have a bag of flour, please? Certainly. We should have a bag of flour ready in a week. But I need it now. Ho, oh, ho. You know what they say. You can't rush the elf windmill. Why not? Ho, oh, ho. Don't you know how a windmill makes flour? Of course I do. Uh, Wise old elf, can you show us how it makes flour? Of course I can. Follow me. Now, can anyone tell me what this is? It's an elf. <laughs> no, no. What is the elf holding? It's wheat. Very good, Ben. And who knows what we do with wheat at the elf windmill? I know. We take the wheat and we... Uh, one moment, Ben. Let's give the fairies a chance to tell us. Um, is it for sweeping the floor? Oh, no, no, no. We use the wheat to make the flour. First, we put the wheat in this funnel. The funnel separates out the parts we need. Come and see. This way, everyone. That doesn't look like flour. We haven't finished yet, Princess Holly. Look, the wind turns the sails. The sails turn the cogs. And the cogs turn the grindstone. The grindstone crushes the grains of wheat and out comes top quality elf flour. It's very slow. That's why it takes a week to make a bag of flour. Why can't it go faster? The mill goes at the speed of the wind. So, if we could make the wind go faster, 
the mill would go faster too. Oh, yes. But we can't make the wind go faster. I can. Oh, now, I'm not sure you should use magic. Oh, stop fussing. I'm always very careful when it comes to weather spells. Nanny, can I do the spell too? No, Princess Holly. You're much too young for dangerous weather spells. Oh. But you can watch me and see how it's done. Blow winds, do your stuff with all your might. Puff, puff, puff! Ooh. There. What did I tell you? Um, well... The windmill's going faster and faster. You see, wise old elf? I know what I'm doing. That sounded like thunder. Did you do that, Nanny? Me? No. I didn't magic up thunder, just wind. Are you sure you haven't made a storm, Nanny? Yes. Well, wind, storm, hurricane, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, we're making so much flour, we're running out of sacks. Nanny Plum, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing. It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your life. Oh! Look how fast the sails are going. Too fast. The mill is out of control. It's filling up with flour. Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down. Oh. All right. I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind. No, thank you, Nanny Plum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Oh. Oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <gasps> Elves are never happy. Maybe you can stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Hi, Ben. Ah, Mr. Elf. Could you deliver one bag of flour for Nanny Plum? She can have a whole truckload. I'll take it there right away. Hooray! <coughs> oh, thank you. 
That would be most kind. <coughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Springtime! Wow! Look at all the lovely tulips. Yes, Holly. It's the first day of spring. Wow! There's a flower right outside our window. All the daffodils have come up. I love springtime. Ben! Ben! Are you coming out to play? <coughs> I'll be right down. Have you seen all the flowers? Yes, and... Oh, those leaves are moving. There's something in there. It's coming out. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, a little hedgehog. <laughs> Gaston's frightened him. He's rolled up into a ball. Sorry, Mr Hedgehog. Oh, a hedgehog. He's woken up for the spring. Woken up? Yes. Some creatures sleep all through the winter. Don't they get very hungry? They make sure they have a big meal before going to sleep. Oh, there's something else waking up. And it's big. It could be a bear. It could be a... Hello there. Ah! The gnome! Do gnomes sleep through the winter too? Yes, and when they wake up, they're very hungry. Ah, what's for breakfast? Uh, Mr Gnome, wouldn't you like to sleep a bit more? Eh? What do you mean? Uh, maybe it's not springtime yet. We could still get some snow. Eh, Nanny Plum? Ow! Stop it! It could snow at any moment, couldn't it? Ow! I don't think so. It could snow if magic was used. Oh! You want me to magic some snow so he'll think it's still winter. Shh! Why didn't you say so? Oh, dear me, it's snowing. I'd better go back to sleep. Hang on. Over here, it's sunny and there's flowers. You try to trick me. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I like a good joke. Shame I don't know any. I've had some funny dreams, though. Would you like to hear them? Uh, no, thank you. Yes, there's nothing so boring as other people's dreams. Anyway, I dreamt I was in this rowboat and the oars were made of cheese. Then a lot of pigeons wearing pyjamas started chasing me. How interesting. <gasps> There's lots more to tell. But first, I need food. Hello there. Ah! I mean, hello, Mr Gnome. This looks like a nice comfy house. I wouldn't mind living here. Uh, you can't live here. I like a man who speaks his mind. We'll have some good chats while I'm living here. Mr Gnome, we'd really love to have you stay, but the front door is too small for you. Well, if you really want me to stay, I'll try my best. <laughs> Nearly there. Just my bottom to go. Hello, everyone. It's a bit of a squeeze in here. I'll just move this little staircase. He's eating everything! <clears throat> What's for dessert? Save your food! Mr Gnome, wouldn't you rather live somewhere with other gnomes? Oh, no. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. Gnomes tell very boring stories. You never get two gnomes living within a hundred miles of each other. Hello? Nanny Plum, you must come back to the little castle at once. Sorry, King Thistle, but we're having a problem with a gnome. What? But I've got a gnome at the castle. Is there any more toast? There must be two gnomes. <laughs> no need to panic. What do you mean? You heard what the gnomes said. Gnomes don't like other gnomes. We just have to get them together. When they see each other, they'll run a mile. Problem solved. Yay! We'll arrange for both gnomes to meet each other at Big Hill. 
You seem to be out of food. Have you tried the breakfast tree on Big Hill? Breakfast tree? Never heard of it. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it, Nanny Plum? Ow! What did you nudge me for? Yes, over on Big Hill, there's a tree that grows sausages and eggs and bacon. Is that? I've never seen it. Ow! You don't even know you're doing it. Nanny, he wants you to magic one. Oh, I see. You want me to magic up a breakfast tree? Shush. OK, then. Hmm. I can smell breakfast from here. Hello. Quick, Your Majesty. Tell your gnome that there's a breakfast tree on Big Hill. Ooh! They say that breakfast don't grow on trees, but my, my! A tree with eggs, bacon, sausages and toast. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look, they're about to meet and run a hundred miles from each other. Uh, a gnome! What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Go on, then. What are you doing here? I like breakfast. Would you like to know why? No. I'll take that as a yes. It's because I like fried eggs and sausages and bacon and pancakes and... <coughs> You've eaten it all! Well, if you didn't talk so much, you could do some eating. Right! I'm going a hundred miles away from you. I'm going a thousand miles away from you. It worked. They've both left the little kingdom. What a brilliant plan. Well done, Nanny Plum. Thank you, King Thistle. <clears throat> it was my idea, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. I thought of getting them together. I magicked up the breakfast tray. Let's just say elf cleverness and fairy magic has saved the day. Yay! She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me... We thought you'd uh, gone far away. I tried, but I just can't get her out of my head. That lady gnome's beautiful, isn't she? Do you like the way her eyes sort of sparkle? For pity's sake, can't we talk about something else? OK, then. Don't you think she has pretty ears? Oh, this is terrible. He's in love with her. That's springtime for you. He's a fine figure of a gnome, isn't he? Oh, yes. And hasn't he got a nice big tummy? If you say so. I've made up a song about him. Would you like to hear it? No. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? How do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh, it's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes. Well, I I just... That is to say, I... Uh, that's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. 
And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. Old-fashioned? And drafty. So I'm afraid we'll have to find somewhere else. Oh, well, goodbye. It's a shame we won't see you ever again. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back for our holidays. See you next spring. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. The Elf Band. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What's that, darling? We've been invited to visit King and Queen Marigold this evening. Oh, dear. King and Queen Marigold are boring and snooty. They always make me feel like a country bumpkin. So why are we visiting them? Because they invited us. And I didn't know how to say no. I'm good at that sort of thing. Leave it with me. Hello. Queen Marigold, King Thistle here. I'm terribly sorry, but Queen Thistle and I can't come tonight. Oh, no. We were so looking forward to seeing you. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. But tonight we're going to, um, uh, a music concert. What kind of music? Ah, uh, um, elf music. Elf music? Oh, I don't believe I've heard of elf music. Oh, uh, yes. It's rather good, actually. Oh, King Marigold and I love good music. Ah, uh, I know. We'll come to you. Oh. See you tonight. Toodle pip. Oh. <coughs> Everything all right, darling? There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? We're not visiting King and Queen Marigold. Hooray! So, what's the bad news? They're coming to see us instead. Oh, no! And they're expecting a concert of elf music. What? And I've, um, told them that elf music sounds good. Oh, but the elf band sound terrible. They're the only elf music we've got. They're an embarrassment. They don't sound that bad. The last time they played, you said it was disgusting. Well, maybe they've got better. Nanny! Summon the elf band. Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> the elf band at your service, Your Majesty. <laughs> Wise old elf, we have some very important guests coming to visit. King and Queen Marigold. They are very boring and snooty. And they want to hear some elf music. Have you been practising? No, Your Majesty. You told us to never, ever play music again. I see. Well, you can play for us now. Oh, it would be an honour, Your Majesty. One, two, three, four. Oompa, 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 oompa. Interesting. That was awful. I thought it was good. You might like it, Holly. But I'm sure King and Queen Marigold will not. If I might make a suggestion, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Princess Holly could play her recorder for the guests. Yes, Nanny has been teaching me. And Holly has been practising. little tune. King and Queen Marigold would like that. There is one problem. You've promised elf music and Holly is not an elf. I could magic some elf ears for Holly. Ooh. <laughs> no, thank you, Nanny. I know. Nanny can teach the elf band how to play Holly's tune. Hooray! That's that sorted. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.
Everybody on? Yes! Right ho, off we go. Your instruments don't just sound funny, they look funny too. They've got funny names as well. This is called a thrump warbler. <laughs> That's the spal throttle. <laughs> and this is the blotto horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Oompa, 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 Right, enough of that. Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's much better. Yes, it's charming. But I still don't think King and Queen Marigold will like it. Why, Mummy? King and Queen Marigold don't like country things. And the instruments sound so, uh, rough. I can fix that. How? I'll just use magic to make the instruments sound more normal. Play me a tune, Mr Elf. <laughs> That sounds exactly the sort of music King and Queen Marigold would like. Problem solved. King and Queen Marigold. How delightful to see your little kingdom again, Queen Thistle. It's always such a pleasure to experience your simple country life here. We can't wait to hear some genuine... Elf music. <laughs> oh, yes. You must hear it. Oh, King Thistle, you didn't tell me you were a conductor. I take a special interest in the sound of this band. I must say, this is not at all what I expected elf music to sound like. They have been practising very hard. These elves play well, but the tune is a little old-fashioned. And their instruments sound very ordinary. I assumed elf music would be more folksy. What's that? <laughs> oh, I say! <laughs> A fantastic performance! Very exciting! A triumph, King Thistle! Have you ever considered 
teaching music? Ah, well, uh... Let's dance! Come on, Mummy! Um King and Queen Marigold are not boring at all! Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Pirate's treasure. No, no. I'm the best pirate. You're not. I'm the best pirate. I am so. Listen. I'm the best pirate. Ask any pirate. Who's the best pirate? It's me. Hi, Redbeard. Hello, Ben and Holly. And hello, me rambling rose. Meet an old shipmate of mine. Captain Squid. At your service. We were just talking about who's the best pirate. What makes the best pirate? It's the pirate who's cleverest at hiding their treasure. My treasure's hidden the cleverest. This is me treasure map, but only I can read and understand it. <laughs> A child could read it. Is it buried next to the elf tree? Uh, yes. My treasure map is better than that. Ooh, that does look difficult. The treasure's deep underwater, yet in plain sight. Guarded by a mermaid and a golden sea monster with scales shining bright. Ooh. Well, best be off. I've got some pirate stuff to get on with. Ha <laughs> ha! Good to see you, Captain Squid. And you too, Captain Redbeard. Oh, look. Captain Squid forgot his map. Run after him and give it back. No, it's too late. He's gone. We can still catch him. Captain Squid, wait. Give the map to me. I'll fly after him. Let's not be too hasty. Tell you what, I'll keep his map safe until he gets back. Are you going to hunt for Captain Squid's treasure? Oh, no. That would be against Pirate's Honour. What's Pirate's Honour? A pirate must never go looking for another pirate's treasure. Anyway, the map's too complicated for Redbeard. What? I could follow this map in my sleep. I'll prove it. But what about Pirate's Honour? Yes, the thing is, pirates don't really have much honour. They're pirates after all. And anyway, I only uh, want to check that Captain Squid's treasure is hidden safely and that. Can we come too? Well, I can always use more crew. Yay! Cast off and away we go! <laughs> Ben, Holly, into the crow's nest and keep a sharp lookout. We're going on a treasure hunt. Yo-ho-ho! Ho. Aha! Are we having fun? Aye, aye, Captain! Good! Having fun is what being an elf pirate is all about. And we're elf pirates! The map says we pass a tree with a huge wheel. That's silly. Trees don't have wheels. Redbeard, is that it? Yes, Holly, it must be. That's the old tyre that the big children swing on. Ooh, big children? That sounds a bit dangerous. I'm not afraid of danger. Pirates laugh in the face of danger. Ha, ha, ha! Ha ha ha! Land ahoy! That's the end of the water. The next bit's on land. You mean we have to get out and walk? Fear not, me pretty nightingale. Your ship has wheels. It can go on the land. Well, most treasure you'll find is on the land. There's not that much in the sea, but water. Look. We're in the big children's playground. Now we look out for the giant's palace. There it be. But that's Lucy's school. Who's Lucy? Lucy's our friend. She's a big girl. Are you sure the treasure would be at a children's school? This here map says the treasure's inside. How can we get in? The door shut and the handle's miles up. And you elves won't want to use magic. That's right. Us elves don't normally like magic. But when there's treasure involved... Rightio! Abracadabra! Ooh! 
I thought you were just going to make the door open. But a flying boat is much better. It's quiet. No sign of any big people. But all the big children will be here soon. Let's get a move on. The treasure is found by the sign of the acorn. Acorn class. That's Lucy's class. This is ridiculous. How can pirate treasure be in a children's classroom? What does the map say now? Map? I don't need no map. When treasure's this close, I can smell it. We pirates have a nose for treasure. Come on! Now, we're all going to walk the plank. Starting with me. Whee! is silly. How can the treasure be here? It's supposed to be deep underwater for one thing. There be the water! But that's a fish tank. Remember what Captain Squid said? The treasure is guarded by a mermaid. That's a little statue. And a golden sea monster. That's just a goldfish. And there be Captain Squid's treasure, hidden in plain sight. It's a plastic toy. All fish tanks have that sort of thing. Huh. It's not real treasure. There is only one way to find out. We'll have to dive for it. Who's going diving? Good luck, me plucky little pumpkin. Oof. <laughs> What am I doing? Deep sea diving in a goldfish bowl. Look for the treasure chest. Oh, it's just a plastic toy. I don't even think it opens. Ooh. It's real treasure. <laughs> Captain Squid said I'd never find his treasure. I'd like to see his face now. Redbeard, fancy meeting you here. Oh. Hello, Captain Squid. When I set sail, I found my treasure map was missing. Was it really? So I came back. I was worried some rascal might try and steal my treasure. Yes, yes, that would be very bad if someone tried to steal your treasure. I've got the treasure, Mr Redbeard. Why, you double-crossing old sea dog. Uh, I can explain. Treachery with a smile on its face. It's all right, Captain Squid. I found your map on the ground. Redbeard was worried about your treasure, so we came to make sure it was safe. Yes, uh, that's right. Just check it over, like. Oh, well, that's, that's different. But you must admit it was a good hiding place, wasn't it? Aye, very good. A children's fish tank. Best hiding place ever. Oh, but now you all know where it is. I better hide it again. If you could all close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. Where have you hidden the treasure? Somewhere in the world. Well, it can't be that far away. You were only gone for a second. No one will ever, ever find it. It's guarded by a ferocious beast. Ooh. School starting. <laughs> All right, acorn class, yes. settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <coughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <coughs> There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates honor. honor! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! you. Ha, 
Ha-ha. Yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home. Little kingdom, here we come. ha, -ha! <laughs> I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The Ant Hill. Ah, oh, what a lovely day for a royal fairy picnic. Nanny Plum. Get the magic picnic basket ready. Uh, I can't, Your Majesty. Why not? The magic picnic basket has disappeared. You mean you lost it? Things don't just disappear. Whoa! Where's my chair gone? Nanny, I can't find my wand. There. One piano to deliver to the king. Ben, are you ready? Coming, Dad! Come on, Ben. We've got this piano to deliver to the little castle. I don't want to be late. That's right, Ben. Elves are never late. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> oh, where's my horn? Ben, you must look after your things. A good elf never loses their things. Oh. Where's my piano gone? What's happening? Ah! Ants! Oi! That's our TV! Why are the ants taking all our stuff? I don't know! Ants! Outrageous! Nanny Plum, do something! OK, let's follow them. Where are the ants taking our things? Probably to the Queen Ant. Queen Ant? Is she pretty like Mummy? Uh. Does she have lovely dresses and a sparkly crown? No. The Queen Ant is a different sort of queen. Oh. My horn! There's my wand! Oi! That's our TV! The ants are taking all our things! Yes, and ours too! Where are they taking it? Down to the Queen Ant! Nanny, I command you to have a word with this Queen Ant! What word would that be, Your Majesty? Uh, tell her to stop taking our stuff! I would, Your Majesty, but I can't speak ant. It's one of the more difficult insect languages, along with centipede. What we need is someone who can speak ant. Gaston! Ah, oh, good. Ladybirds can speak ant. <laughs> so Gaston can be your ant translator. Down you go, Nanny. Can Ben and I go too? Yes. But stay close to Nanny Plum so she can keep you safe. Hooray! I'll go too, to keep Nanny Plum safe. And I'll go too, to keep Mr Elf safe. <coughs> mm. These tunnels could go very deep, you know. How deep? Do they go to the centre of the earth? I hope not. My feet are tired enough already. Ooh! This way! It would be very easy to get lost in these tunnels. It's a maze! I hope we remember how to get out. Don't worry. I know how to get through mazes. You take every first turning down and every third turning up. And that gets you through any maze. Oh, it's a dead end. Or is it every second turn to the left? Oh, are we lost, Mr. Elf? Um. <laughs> What's that sound? <laughs> ah! Ants! <laughs> That's lucky. 
They can show us where the Queen Ant is. Gaston, say, take us to your leader. <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> Gaston says the ants will give us a lift. Cool. Yeehaw! Giddy up, giddy up. Must be where the Queen Ant lives. Ooh. Oh, is that the Queen? Uh yes. She's um big, isn't she? Hmm. Gaston, can you translate for us, please? <coughs> Greetings, your aunt Ness. I am Nanny Plum. And I'm Holly. I'm a pretty fairy princess. I'm Mr. Elf. I'm Mrs. Elf. And I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> We're elves. Uh, and you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it if it tastes horrible? This isn't food, you know. <laughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <laughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <laughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the Ooh. king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <laughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <laughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Do you want more? <laughs> no problem. Careful, Nanny Plum. Oh, Mr Elf, stop fussing. Jelly, jelly, a little bit more. <laughs> Nanny, they all want jelly. Goodness me, we'll be here all day. I'll just have to make a lot more. No! Plum. Plum. More, more, more! Oh, jelly Plum! The jelly is showing us the way out! Whoa. 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 Jelly Plum! Oh. I can hear something. What's that? Jelly Plum! What are they shouting? Jerry Fudd? What? Jerry Fudd? Jerry Flood! <gasps> Jerry Flood! <laughs> I've got my horn back. I've got my wand back. And the ants have got all the jelly they can eat. <laughs> 
piano's taken a bit of a bashing. Oh, oh, I'm glad that's not my piano. Actually, Your Majesty, it is your piano. I was just delivering it to you. Oh. It's okay, Daddy. It sounds lovely. As long as you only play tunes with high notes. 